Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. That guy's Dustin. Hey, I'm the bourbon guy. This is Keith. I'm kind of the music guy. You're, you're the music guy. I'm yeah. the bourbon guy. Yeah, yeah well. We're I've, kind of a little bit of both. I've been told all my shit about music. Should we do a disclaimer? What's that? If you can't handle opinions, you probably don't <laughs> like this channel. Just saying. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. You're going to get from us what you get. Um, we don't edit, and we're real. Yeah, we just tell you how we see it. Yep. It's, uh, it's like you're hanging out with us. Like, yeah. if you were in our living room, hanging out, this is what you're going to get. Yep. With Without question. Yeah. So, uh, what, what, you have a, um, you have a thing and a canvas bag. I know, you? right? Isn't that weird? I don't know that I've actually seen that very often. Like, Blanton's does a little brown bag, like, almost like a... The like Crown, the Crown Royal, Royal bag, yeah, which they really that shouldn't bag. emulate. Right. They really <laughs> shouldn't. But this one I just picked up. Uh, I went down to Bourbon Country. Mm. I, I like that that says Lux Row on the front. 2021, right? I have a tendency to really like Lux Row things. Right. So I've been holding off on getting this for a while because it is a little bit of a pricey -er bourbon. Um Please define for me pricey. Uh, so this is close to two hundred dollars. Ouch! For bourbon, like that's money, because there's a lot of and and mainly because there's so much stuff between forty and eighty that's delicious, right? If at at almost two hundred dollars, yeah, this better blow my socks off. So what we have here is a Lux Road Distillers Limited Edition whiskey. Oh, this is my skeptical eye. You're sk <laughs> so this is double barrel cast strength. Um, double barrel, like break barrel, throw them in there, pop it up. Yeah, gauge Jethro in his right. ass. Boom. All right. I don't think that's what that means. <laughs> okay. That means they use two barrels. Uh, double barrel aged twelve years. Oh, this is kind of neat. So, aged since. June 13th, 2007. Okay. And I believe, and it's 118.4 proof. So that's warm. And I believe that means they dumped it because it's the 2021 release this year. Yeah. Is, so that, is that math right? 12 years? You're the math seven. No, I suck at simple math. But yes, that... No, oh, that doesn't work. What, well, how many years would that be? Yeah, it does. Okay. <laughs> Wow. Sorry. You're, not, you're getting that. You're welcome. <laughs> Did you see the smoke pouring out of my well, ears? I, I smelled something. A adding the, uh, I wouldn't even try. Doing cause... simple math. Screw that. So I'll get this. Pour. I'd like to remind you all that I am a product of the American education system. <laughs> you get what you get. That's all I can say. So I'm going to say we with our Sweetens Coat video we did, remember one of the things I said they probably could have saved 50 bucks? Yeah. Oh, do we have a gilded dude? Look at it's that a nice pop. That is a nice, look at that cork though. Holy, yeah, that's a worth at uh, least thirty bucks. Let me hold this up here. I think that this might be a solid chunk of copper, like so, legit. So it's worth fifty bucks. <laughs> In today's metals environment, it's solid. You could probably take that to a recycler and get another bottle, right? <laughs> Maybe. Did you hear that clunk? I heard the tink that when was... all that copper hit the glass. It's kind of that's new. <laughs> all right. Anyway, bourbon nerds, and what song are we listening to? Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. It's um, Jaron, Jaron, or Jaron. You know what I'm thinking of? Drawn? I don't know. I've never, we've never heard of these folks. You know you done fucked up, A.A. A. Ron. <laughs> He's on another level tonight. <laughs> You're welcome. I, I'm sorry, dude. If J, Jaron, J. Ron, Jaron. I'm going to go with Jaron. Probably Jaren? should go with Jaron. You think it's Jaron? Yeah. I don't know. But it's, I guess is the song is. Is it a dude or a band? I don't know. We'll find out. You guys tell us. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah, you're telling us what to listen to, so we're listening to what you tell us to. And this is a pretty highly requested song. It's, uh, I think, either The Long Road Home or Pray For You or... Pray For You. Both. What? I, I think it's one of those mixed title things. 
weird. Yeah, or we're about to do the wrong song. <laughs> so, it, but we think we have the right thing queued up here, so we'll let's, find out. Let's check it out. I haven't been at church since I don't remember when things were going great till they fell apart again. So I listened to the preacher as he told me what to do. He said, you can't go hating others who have done wrong to you. Sometimes we get angry, but we must not condemn. Let the good Lord do his job. You just pray for them. No, 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 no. You're going to get bit. Hey. I pray your brakes go out from Sorry. down Sorry. the hill. I pray a flower pot falls from a windowsill and knocks you in the head like I'd like. I have to back it up because I got distracted by a pending knife fight over this bird. <laughs> hey, you started it. <laughs> Dude, you're the one that whipped out a fucking switchblade on me. But you tried to steal the bourbon. Well, I, I got to back this up quite a bit. Sorry, right. guys. I want to pay attention to this song and not the knife coming my way. I pray your brakes go out running down the hill. I pray a flower pot Holy I gotta back this up further because this is shit. fucking awesome. Holy shit. I swear to God, I looked at this and I thought, man, we're in for some uh, Christian well, rock. We got, Christian... A, we got a gospel... Gospel vibe. Well, there was the organ. Yeah, there was a there was an organ up front. This is fucking... This is funny. <laughs> I'm gonna back it. Should I just, just start restart. the whole damn thing over? We're restart. All right, it. yeah. Let's... Let's do this, and between the knife fight and our misconception about what this song oh, was. Oh, the delicious bourbon was a distraction, too. Yeah, our our yeah, brains were going, what? Yeah, let, me, let me get this slider all the way back down. and uh, I'm really kind of mad this is so good, to be honest. We can talk about that later. we gotta, we got to do this song. church since I don't remember when Things were going great till they fell apart again so I listened to the preacher as he told me what to do. He said, you can't go hating others who have done wrong to you. Sometimes we get angry, but we must not condemn. Let the good Lord do his job. You just pray for them. <laughs> I pray your brakes go out running down a hill. I pray a flower pot falls from a windowsill and knocks you in the head like I'd like to. I pray your birthday comes and nobody calls. I pray you're flying high when your engine stalls. I pray all your dreams never come true. Just know wherever you are. <laughs> that is awesome. I'm really glad I found my way to church. Cause I'm already feeling better and I thank God for the words. It's like turning the other cheek, right? Yeah, I'm gonna take the high road. You want me to start it on that? And do what the preacher told me to do. You keep messing up. And I'll keep praying for you. Just 
Well done. That's a tough one right there. So, this, uh, it's pretty good reaction evening for, for me. Uh, all right. Um, because one, the song's freaking awesome. That, I love that song. It's like, the, the lyrics were hilarious. That, the, that was the funniest song the, I've heard in a long time. Yeah. That was great. The message is also <laughs> hilarious. Not the best message, but... I mean, it's kind of awesome. Yeah, well, it's kind of a, you know... A little dark. Giving them the power to make you hate all day is kind well, of a mistake. That's true. But... That's true. But that's the way to get... You pray for them. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to hate anymore. You, I'm praying that you die. I'm praying an anvil falls on your head. Right. I love <laughs> it. That's hilarious. I would... So, the... the my, my only negative comment I'm going to say about this is it didn't feel super country and it felt super pop to me. But I don't know country, so I could be completely wrong. I, I kind of got, for what these guys are showing us as country music, Yeah, it seems to fit. Okay. In 1990, this would have played, played on pop stations. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think it would today. Absolutely would not. Okay. So I would, uh, one of our commenters some time ago said, it plays on country stations, therefore it's country. It's kind of <laughs> so, with the Kid Rock one, wasn't it? It might, yeah. I think I was talking about Kid Rock, who yeah. I don't really think of as country, but uh, right because of bomb to bomb to diggy diggy. Yeah, when he talks baby talk. Right, yeah. right, yeah, yeah. So, so um, the the song made me laugh. It's an awesome song, and this bourbon, my god, that sucks. Right, this is that the worst, sucks because this is the worst bourbon you've had in your time. <laughs> We're, we're, you want to take a trip down to Luxor tomorrow? You know, I'm not going to roll that out. As long as I'm back to get Connor to work. He, 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 just, wants, he just wants to watch me spend $200 freaking dollars on a bottle is what that is. Yeah. He likes to share his pain. Do you know how much? I'm not even, we're not going to talk about how much we spent at Luxor. We got some really cool art there. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, You'll see. All right. So, uh. Yeah, we've had an awesome song and awesome bourbon. And thank you for the song recommendation. Seriously, that was great. I think <laughs> I think a couple of them said, you guys will laugh at this one. You were right. Mm-hmm. Thank you. So, uh, why do you like this bourbon? So, well, hold up. Let's talk about the song a little bit more. So, he had a pretty good voice. Yeah, he had a pretty good voice. Uh, the music was pretty simplistic and legit done in like a gospel style. Yeah, which is what confuzzled me right up until, right up until the first chorus. Yes, I'm like, cause gospel's not really my genre. Like I can appreciate it at times, but I was kind of dreading. I'm gonna have to sit through a gospel song. Yeah, well, we've had a couple that were pretty cool, though. Like, we did that Brooks and Dunn. Well, and that long, long Black Train tune was freaking awesome, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so maybe that's a genre I should get yeah. into more, but... They're converting I, you. Yeah, it's 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 not my first choice by any stretch of the imagination, and I was thinking, ah, we're going to have to sit through this. Um, not that at all. Uh-uh. No, that's <laughs> awesome. It kind of, it was like, it, it almost... Uh, Who's that? Uh, who's that movie guy? M Night Shyamalan. You got M Night Shyamalan. Twist. Yeah, always a twist. You got twisted right there. Yeah, I got I a got, little bit. I got yeah. turned for a loop. Uh huh. It was awesome. It was good, and I liked. I obviously his voice was good, and you were right. Like there were trombones and stuff back there. Yeah, yeah, trombones, organs, I, trombones, French horns, little guitar. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Dude, neat tune, guys. So, this bourbon. Yeah. Initially is a bombardment of my favorite flavors when you first take that, that first sip. My first sip was heavy in the wood. I didn't really get that. Really? Mm. 
bombarded with cinnamon and caramel. Cinnamon, caramel. It's got... And a lemony finish that just makes me want to keep drinking it's, more and more. It's the little... It's... It, None of that mouthfeel stuff. So it's almost got like a I like good mouth. Feel. Shut up, man. <laughs> it's got almost a. It's so. It's almost got like an oily consistency to it, where it just kind of coats your tongue. Um, at a hundred and what I say. So it's got legs like a wine. A hundred eighteen proof. Yeah. Uh, and it's smooth. Oh, it's delicious. I think I'll use one of your. It's like it's like a it's like it's almost like a sweet tea. I don't know if I'd go that far because there's definitely a burn associated with the drink. But when I'm getting the burn, I'm also getting that roll from the cinnamon and caramel over to the just this unbelievably delicious lemony finish. See when it, it completely offsets the burn for me. When it rolls to for me from the sweet caramel and and uh, cinnamon notes, it rolls into I get I get that oak that wood flavor that I really like, and kind of finishes for me with a pepper citrus. So we're getting similar things, but a little different. You know what? Every palate's different. We just ate an hour ago. Yeah. Oh. And we had different meals. That's true. And believe it or not. Um, the last food that you ate yeah. can radically affect the way a bourbon tastes to you for hours after your last meal. Yep. So that could account for the difference that Dustin and I, I right. had chili at a burger. Yeah. A and, really good burger. Yeah. So that, that could account for the difference in taste, which makes me want to come back to this again. Yeah. And see how, see how it rolls. That's I I am sadly going to have to pay more attention to this release now because I'm going to want more of that on my shelf. And I'm probably going to have to drive to Kentucky just to get a bottle, you, asshole. You can only get it in the distillery. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right, everybody. So if you, like this, if you like this video, reaction. If you can stand an opinion. <laughs> We've go recently ahead. been chewed out. Go ahead and hit subscribe. Uh, it doesn't affect us, really. We, we're going to be us. So yeah. subscribe if you can stand us. Uh, give us that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Uh, get in those comments. Tell us uh, what to drink and what to listen to. We only listen to stuff you tell us to. You want to mention our policy real quick? We have a policy. Um, those of you who've watched a few videos know that we do react only to songs you suggest. That list of suggestions, when I say that it's extensive, um, that's an understatement. That is a very huge understatement. Yeah. Um, we have adopted a policy here at Bourbon Country Reacts. If you want your song to the front of our list, and I mean the very front, we get together to record specifically yep. when you guys send us a bottle of bourbon. Yeah. Send us a bottle of bourbon we don't really care about price nope um it can be low end it can be high end, whatever you want send us a bottle and uh your song moves to the front and we get it out literally as quickly as we possibly can as as soon as possible and or if you want us to react to a bourbon that you want us to to react to send, send it, it to us yeah we'll yeah. do that yep hey guys thanks for watching till next time